Hello and welcome to Eggington Junction, another in the Heritage series of PC Rail signaling simulations. I'm Russell Ashmore and I'm hoping to uh, explain a little bit more about this simulation. I've increased my mouse point as you can see, a little bit of a background to it so we could see where I'm actually moving the mouse. <coughs> right, Eggington Junction, probably a little known location really. Uh, it's on the uh, Midland Main Line between Derby, which is on the right, which is east, comes to Egerty Junction and carries on to Stoke New Toxeter. The, the, this was originally built by the North Staffs Railway, then incorporated into the Midland Railway. Also we've got the other line, which is the Great Northern, coming from Derby, Frygate, we're working to Hetwell, signal box. This comes into the layout of the station, it's got its own platforms, crosses the Midland and down to Burton on Trent via Dove Junction. Now this uh, Dove Junction was also connected to Master Junction via a triangle. I'll use uh, Google Earth to show you what where the, uh, the line used to be. Obviously it is uh, currently now so this this line is still open the level cross is still there the station is now closed and the only point existing now is this crossover so all the uh, sidings and everything is gone it was used laterly laterly as a test track uh, between here and um, Mickleover a single line the Great Northern platforms was stopped used for regular traffic about 1939 uh, obviously it's still used for excursion traffic uh, if you want to have a read through all the local information gives you all the history of the line tells you quite a lot of interesting information and then starting to get into the operating side of it now the crossing wakes and hand signals which i'll uh, I'll cover in due course. So that's the one there. We've got a timetable notes as well. The timetable is a weekday 1957. It's an interesting thing about turning locos again, which I'll come into. Right, I'll go into Google Earth at this moment and show you exactly where the current location is in this triangle. So I'm zoomed into the actual signal box, about as close as I can get. This is the relay room. This is all as it is at the moment. So I'll zoom back. Uh, you can see the station, Eggington. This is still there. The station building is still there, privately owned. None of the platforms are left. And then you can see Ilton Crossing, which is controlled by a crossing keeper. This, this out here, this is parking space. And as we zoom out, this line, this is the Midland one, going down to uh, down to the main line at North Staff Junction, and then there's another line comes off at Stenson Junction, and that carries on into Derby. Right, so I'll go back. Now, this is now a cycle way. This is the old railway line, and that used to go to Mickleover, Derby. So here we can see the triangle, or the or where it used to be. This is the path of trees. This this line. So Eggington is here. The junction actually came off here and ran parallel for quite a while. Then it diverged off and down to Dove Junction, where there was a signal box approximately here. Uh, and then you, the other line crosses the river again, and then this is Marston Junction. Or the site of Marston Junction there. The line then carried on up to Tutbury. Tutbury and Atten where there's a, a new railway station or a, a new, newer railway station there. The old station used to be situated here and of course there's the famous Tutbury Ginny which was a push and pull train from Tutbury down to Burton on Trent. I think that finished about 65 I'm not sure of the exact date. So that's the uh, the current layout now. There's uh, 
all these MOD this was a big MOD depot at one time here this is all now closed and of course the usual new housing state is taking course there you've got Derby airfield just to the south uh, so I think that's all covered yeah right so we're back to the simulation I'm going to start the simulation running uh, the demo times might actually be different to uh, what I've got on at the moment but I've, I've selected this time because uh, we've got an interesting move straight away of this locomotive running round which why would a locomotive run round or, or turn around the triangle at Eggerton well these are timetable moves and I wondered that myself and then I found out that uh, the steam locomotives they obviously come they run in chimney face that's the chimney at the front the tender back so the driver's got better visibility but there was no no turning facilities for the gn at burton and drivers used to like to wait from burton and back chimney first so some of these freight trains came into the station the loco uncoupled it would then run round the triangle. It could either go to Dove Junction first or Master Junction first. I think they mainly went to Dove. Yes, down better. So the local on couples leaves his train in the station, goes down, down to this triangle bit, comes back up, then back, and then of course he's uh, he's facing the different way. So we have to shunt this loco back onto his train, and then he carries on. So I'll start the simulation running and hopefully try and cover some of the uh, things. I'll just cover the basic layout which we've got. Um, say we've got the up and down Stoke main line, the GN line which I've covered. We've got the sidings, former sidings, Hilton War Department sidings. There's quite a lot of extensive sidings in there at one time. We've got an up sidings loop. Now this is quite useful if we've got trains coming out of the up sidings onto the GN. It doesn't need to go across here and affect all this, this traffic here. We can still run trains through there, bring them straight out of the upside and straight off. Uh, we've got two sidings on the down. One's connected onto the main, one's connected off the GN. There's actually a little crossover there, hand-operated crossover, which isn't shown. So in, in effect, you could have a train arriving platform uh, siding one, and depart from siding two, so they are connected, and that does happen from time to time. We've got a level crossing at Hilton, and say that's uh, operated by a crossing keeper, and I'll show you how to work that shortly. We've also got a ground frame at the dairy. This is released by number 30, so we release 30, we unlock the ground frame, and then we can use these. We've also got hand signal points. Uh, which is shown in these little square boxes, DP, DBT. So uh, that's down Burton. And then uh, these are to reverse into sidings. And there's no signal move to come across crossover three, which is as it is still at this moment in time. Never had a, uh, never been signalled that move. So that's an hand signal as well. Then we've got a hand signal there. And of course we've got hand signals in and out the ground frame. Right, let's uh, start the uh, start the simulation. I've set it up as I usually do. I've moved my clock to the top, and I've got the uh, scroll bars here. The bells are set to menu, so it's easy to show you. And we'll see how we go. Um, skill level, I've got that at six, so that should be okay. But we can adjust that to later on if it's too fast or too slow so i'll say i've been running this for a while so that's why i've got 85.71 punctuality which isn't too good but as a, again as i said before i don't really uh, do right i've got a three two on the bell that's a class eight coming from het one i can accept that uh, I'll explain the clearing points as well while we're doing this. If you noticed on the down, we've got a how to home and in at home. So again, the clearing point is from the home signal. It's going to the next signal. So 
any time that section is clear we can accept the train and same on the downstoke from Eggington Goods which is the next box on there we can accept we can always accept a train even if there's something coming across these junctions we've got the clearing point for this symbol here now the other way is a little bit different we've had to compromise on that uh, on the upstoke the clearing point is shown there so it doesn't affect this point and it doesn't affect trains coming on and off this line but from the up Burton line many it's this is a freight freight only line at that time and we've well we've tried to simulate what they call regulation 5 uh, if you want to find out more about regulation 5 have a look at signalbox.org and there's a section on absolute block there and uh, regulation 5 is explained far clearer than I can basically it means that normal acceptance is the line must be clear 440 yards beyond the old signal but with this a restricted acceptance you can accept a train if the line's clear to the old signal only and this was used for freights and where there's no freights on the other line so we've compromised there we've put the clearing point there to a sort of simulate a regulation 5 acceptance from Dove Junction Otherwise, if we if we had a normal Reg 4 acceptance, 440 yards beyond these two signals would obviously cover all this junction, and it just tires up a little bit unnecessarily. So that's been a compromise for that, and it does seem to work quite well. So we've got facing point locks as well on 26, uh, 26 and 27 for these junctions. Now they are flank protected, and I'll try and explain that at this moment if for example we wanted to move uh, 24 you see it's locked even though you think you could clear that signal but the reason it's locked is that we don't want to train we don't want to train going across there for the same if one passes that signal at danger for example it would go straight into the side of this train so what they call it's called flight protection is to stop a, a sideways collision and all it is basically is to we've got to move these points first so we've got to use the lock on 26 and 25 lock the points again now we can clear the signals and it's the same the other way you can't put 29 we can put it back yes but you can't uh, if 28's normal it will lock 29 which i can show you later on so this train what's this 8d11 going to do comes in 0302 so he's offered it on he actually offers it on quite early on the gn uh and he couples stops eggerton uncouple loco and forms od11 in the gn platform tens via dover marston so this is a loco running round. this is why late running is not recommended on this simulation because these light engines might arrive before they've actually departed if you uh, if you see what i mean so that goes out there and then it comes back on the upstoke at v20 and there's a bit of a shunt move to get him back on his train um while this one's trundling towards us i'm going to talk about this these facing points here which are unusual why would you want a facing point lock on a trailing point so that's 22 actually actually changes the crossover plus this trap point as well so there's actually three ends to that point now the reason the facing point lock is on there is that i've been reliably informed because this dairy sometimes they kept sometimes they shunted some dairy uh, milk milk tankers in this siding and they was used to uh, they used to use to couple to the back of a passenger train this is pre-war second world war days of course and of course if you've got a passenger train you can't go across any points unless they've been locked by a fire pace facing point lock so a passenger train would come in in this in this platform the upgn platform reverse these points lock and then because it's a passenger train it could reverse over there couple to the milk tankers and a facing point lock to come out and on continue on his way so that's the reason these facing point locks on there 
right this level crossing uh, we'd have to put these points back really. just forgive me now. reset it for the main line I should click on the levers across the roof right so this this uh, this is and operator gates uh, there is a lock from the box lever crossing is locked by lever 14 that's when it's across the road I can chain intersection which I can acknowledge uh, we'll bring him to a stand or quite near to a stand of the old signal because we've got this signal ahead of it now you notice 42 and 41 is strange it's, there's just one arm uh, obviously 34 is to go down the GN 33, 33 is to go on the uh, Midland up to uh, Toxton Stoke so this is controlled by two levers which works for one arm how does the driver know which way he's going he doesn't really he just needs he just these the operation of this lever depends on the position of these points uh, the lines to clear that signal you need the distance beyond these points so these points would have to be set I'll demonstrate that now. 41 can't clear. 42 is obviously locked by the points. So even though the line's clear between 41 and 42 and 33 and 34, these points still must be set. The interlocking for the outer ohms covers the points ahead of the inner ohms in effect, which can restrict uh, movement. So you've got to put these points back before this train arrives and it's breaking now. Anyway, I'll quickly show you this. Right, so to get these to get the gates across, click on HX, which represents basically a bell signal sent from the box to the crossing keeper. Then once the gates across the road, lock lock the gates, and we can then use the signals. So that'd be forty four on the other line. And the other way, we uh, clear 12. Obviously, we can't clear 6 because we haven't got a line clear. Now, when I release the points, this actually locks number 12 as well. So it locks it locks 6 and 12, even though 12's way, way away. Why does it do that? I'm not sure. Again, it's probably because of the overlaps running across the crossing, and that still applies even to this day. Anyway, let's get the uh, gates back onto the road. The car's wondering what's going off. So let's get this one down to the inner home. So we need, again, we've got flank protection. So we need 27 unlocking. And then we can put the line across. Now we should be able to get signal 41. Now we've cleared 41, even though he's, he's going up down the... Uh, down Burton. So, but to get 42, I need these points across, which I'll be doing later on. So, right, he's coming into the station. Uh, obviously, he's going to be stood there for quite a while, so we can't send out a section to Etwell until he's actually left and clear of this signal clearing point here. So, let's get this crossover set ready. That is the next movement. You just have to check, see if there's anything. Oh, there's something coming on the main line. But yeah, he'll be gone out of the way. So we've got a we've got a light engine on the upstoke. And he's uh loco for eight delta one one. Oh of course it's the engine coming back, silly me. Then there's a, pass, uh, a freight train, class 9, coming through on the Dan Stoke. He's just come straight through Glendon. So he's just coming straight through the class 9. Right, so he's come to a stand. We, uh, we just turn the uh, time compression on and off in case it speeds away. So we can uncouple that locomotive. So I use right click on it. Uncouple. Loco. It will default to OZ01. We want it to 
change to OD11. So just type that in on your keyboard. Depart for 303. You'll be way behind on here already. So let's get this uh, 25 unlocked and get him away. So we need signal. It's, four, it's 10 minutes late. This is me messing about. Now this, this because it's 10 minutes late, we could actually uh, get him offered from Marston before he's actually off the block, if you know what I mean. Not a very good example showing you trains running 10 minutes late through my my fault, but uh, yeah, I'm explaining, trying to explain to you as well. Obviously, if you just run it on your own, you concentrate on the job. Right, we could put the uh, 41 back. Oh, we've not offered this on. Right, let's get this light engine offered on. Class three. And get this get the starter off, 37. Right, the track circuit's still lit by the train stood there. We could put 34 back. I think John's trying to connect these, so if this one's late going, I think it doesn't appear until it's off the screen, so it, it doesn't look silly. Otherwise, you, you'd have two two engines, the same locomotive on the on the layout. So this this triangle does cause a bit of uh, problems, computing wise. Right, so we can put the starter back. Thirty seven. sure if this mouse point point is any good showing it highlighted like this because you can't always uh, select the levers correctly right so we've still got train online of course because he's, he's it will know he's stood there for a while <clears throat> right we'll get the uh, we'll get the points and everything set up for when he comes back so it's coming on the upstoke yeah that's okay like that when you go behind four signal, the points could be set for the branch, the JN or the main line. Uh, I'll leave them set for the branch for the time being, but these is going to be coming from DSK over 17 and onto his train. So we need 25 uh, points put in back. So unlock the points. When you notice these locks <clears throat> are used the opposite way around. Normally, when a point's locked, you've got the lever reverse. But the Great Central and this must have been the, done this other way. So you've got the point is locked when the lever's back in the frame. Right, he's breaking now at the uh, dub junction. There's a crossover down there, so we can cross from the down to the up or what, whichever direction it is. And then he'd be signaling to Marston. Right, so we've got a section for that one. We can increase the time compression a little bit, and we should get this light engine shortly. Right, it looks like they are linked because uh, it should be here now. So that's good. That's an interesting observation. So he is going to be late arriving. Therefore, this 3.30 is going to be late departing, which is which is good for the simulation. He would actually probably go after this one's gone past. Otherwise, we're going to, uh, we're going to s delay 9K30. The only other sign I don't think I've mentioned is the uh, 
stayed from the dock. Right, this is the light engine coming back. So we can accept that. Again, if you've got a signal at danger, the one in rear must be kept at, at danger till the train's been brought quite or nearly to a stand. On the simulations, it's 10 miles an hour or below. We can actually use the shunt to command again, which uh, I've explained before, train control. Uh, so I usually, I usually use the menus. So I click on the, I like the loco, I can even do that now. Right click, shunt to, you've got 4 and 16, we need to stop in behind 4. So I'll set that up now, shunt set. That just saves the, you know, having to have the loco go, it go all the way down to number 5 signal. And it come come back. Now I can't show you the ground frame at the moment because uh, we've got one on the circuit. If I try to release the ground frame, oh, it's actually let me do it. Okay, let me see. So number one, I'll go through the ground frame. So we've released the ground frame, so it must be clear. Oh yes, yeah, in case you've got a train actually wanting to reverse into the dairy siding. So it's actually two track circuits in effect there. But just one show. So to operate the ground frame, we've released it from the box, which is 30. We need to release the ground frame, which is number one. And then we can operate the crossover. So we've got a crossover, we've got a single slip, and then we've got a crossover that way. So say we wanted to pick up something from the dairy siding, we'd, we'd operate G5. Which is which is probably locked by these uh, points. Let's try G3. Yeah, so we can operate G3. We can probably operate G4. Yeah. So G5. Let me get this train intersection. So uh, yeah, so the the circuit must be still on G4. So that's why it's locking that one. So I put the ground frame back. This signal number five, although it's shown uh, before this crossover, it actually applies for trains going from the GN dock onto the up GN and also trains from the down GN reversing and going over that way. You can't use this section for shunting, unfortunately. So I've got the ground frame back. I must get that locked in the frame, number 30, so I don't forget. If we had a train accepted from Apple, it would you wouldn't be able to release the ground frame because it's in clearing point. But once the, tr once the trains come to a stand, which it has there, then you can operate the ground frame. Right, waiting for this locomotive. He's slowing down. Yeah, the station dock. It's just a small siding. Um, Nineteen points. Signal to go in 17. Signal to come out is 18. That is used later on in the timetable as well, just for putting a, a wagon in there. Unfortunately, with the heritage simulations, we can't we can't start it with stock already on the uh, layout. They would, in effect, be dairy, would be tanks there. So we have got a train coming quite early in the day to drop some tanks off. Right, it's coming to stand. I'll clear 11. Now it's been cautioned. Probably, words probably not cautioned. It's been, uh, it's been controlled. Obviously the driver knows he's going to stop at the crossover, but we still have to apply the regulations. I can't send out a section for this one until uh, is is clear of the crossover and the cross the number three points been put back as well so anyway what time did i start this simulation i'll run it for about two hours or till there's a nice suitable break um right he's held at number four so we can put it back yeah clear uh, crossover and clear number four now again, we don't want him running all the way down to 38. So right click, shunt to ESK with this and signal location.
Might have get him away on time. It's a little bit tight, but we'll see how we go. Right, he's come to a stand. So I'll put the signal back, then the crossover. Then you want to unsignal him. Make sure you've got the route set. Yeah, so that's the DSK. I'll click on there. Green hand signal from the box, and we need 17. So we can drop him down into station. Now we can send the outer section for this now. Lines clear. Right, so this engine will go onto his train. This time the chimney will be facing the wagon, so he'll be running tender or bunker first to Burton. There's quite a few of these run round bills in the timetable as well. It's from the 8D30 up. R31 can uh, withdraw the amp signal, it's gone past the point. And we can put 17 back as well, it's gone past the Right, it's shown as train terminated. It might be a minute or two before it changes uh, to the default of Z01. And then we need to couple him up. Right, this is, this is a bit tight, so this is a good example. You can always accept the trains because of this at home, irrespective of the points here, so we can always accept that question is have we got time to run this freight across bear in mind he's going onto down Burton or do we let this uh, class 9 go first your decision at least they're not even coupled up yet so uh, they're not going anywhere <coughs> excuse me Oh, we've got another one on the train the information as well from uh, from the down gn so it's quite a, he can't even offer us that train because we've still got one in in the clearing point so so this is an interesting development just for just from 10 minutes late right there we got him down Let's get him coupled up. So I'll proceed. If then is buffer up, then again right click and couple. Right, he's coupling. This uh, this class nine on the main is going past at three thirty five, so he'll be passing in three minutes. And then we've got this one coming on the down chain. He'll be uh, they'll be having to stop at Apple. So we're going to delay that one as well. But what other trains are they? Down Stoke. Got that one on the up Stoke. Right. So we've got another one on the down GN. It arrives at 4.20 and he actually stands and waits for a train to pass, which is uh, 8P22, which is that one. Of course, he passes it. Yeah. Right, he can now go two minutes late and I think I'm going to run it so we'll get this point across and we give him the signal 34 so we might sting the one on the main line right we need to offer this train on of course which is class 8 to Dub Junction is line clear right it's accepted clear the starter get him out of the way and we've got train intersection from uh, Eggerton Good, so we'll acknowledge train intersection. He will have to come to stand the signal. He's gone past the distance, 
Oh, I'll, I'll not explain that yet. Because these boxes are close together, um, we've got the distance for the Eggington goods underneath our front starter and coming the other way, our distance is underneath his starter. They are slotted, so even if you clear the signal, it won't go clear unless he's got his signal off as well. Right, anyway, let's send train engine section to bit, and now we can put 34 back. And finally, send out a section to F4. He's offered the class 9 on straight away, which I can now accept. Right, let's get these points set for the main line. We've got this good strain coming towards us, so we can unlock. We can put 29 back and 25. And then make sure, oh, we've got 28 as well to move. Then lock these points up. So that's 26, 27. It's coming to a stand already, so let's put 37 back so we don't forget that. We need the cross, we need the level crossing closing. It's short lock, lock the gate from the box and we can clear 44. And while he's drawing up, I can offer this on to Marston, class 9, this line clear for class 9. Then we keep giving the signals all the way through, so it's the five first and then the starter. 38 so it, we're going to delay this one slightly but well we've got him down to three minutes from 10 so we're not too bad right let's have a look what's happening there so we've got 9.45 coming on the GN line he's going straight through to Burton at 3.43 so should be okay we've got one coming out of the upside in which is this location here freight train going to colic again we can use this uh, this loop here to uh, save us foul in the main line right so we're not at we're waste of time clearing the distance signal but i'll just show you if we clear 46 look it won't actually move the arm because he's got this uh, section signal at danger sometimes you forget to put 46 backs when you see it in that position anyway i'll put it back now put this ball back i'll unlock we give them the release back on the gate 14 and the crossing keeper can open the gates train engine section can be sent and 35 can be put back right oh i'm now to section of course Right, so we're uh, putting a few minutes delay in there. Carry on like this, I'll have a visit from the inspector. So we can go back, and we've got outer section. This is from Dub Junction. Right, so not got entrance section yet, that one from Atwell, but that's the next move through and then we've got this one coming out the side in right we can get the road set up for that one uh, so we need um, well, as I said this flank protection will prevent you clearing 29 so we've got to put so I tend to do them at the same time and lock the points so I'm wanting to come out the yard except train H 8H37 for the upside in Yes. All right, he's coming out already. Let me uh, carry on setting this road. I can clear the signal so it can go up the upside in loop. Uh, remember, if the signal's on top of each other, it's top, left, bottom, right. So 13 is to go down to 15. Number one is to cross the crossover number two. So I'll give him 13 signal and drop him down. He says L that signal one. There's a, it just quotes one of the signals amongst the group if that happens. Right, let's get back to this. 28, lock, and 29. Uh, we want 24, which I can't clear because I've not pulled 25 first. 25, lock the points, and then 
24 you don't have to clear 24 if you don't need to oh we've got two inches sections bell must have been at the same time as i'm moving the points right so he's on his way right he, he can be signaled straight through so let's get the uh, 36 from master so let's let's offer this uh, class 9 on and see if we can give him the distance so this line clear class 9 so this time we need 42 34 uh, 37 and 47 that we have to have seen that one right he's coming out the sidings uh, we can put 13 back uh, let's get this one offered as well so it's a class 8 on the GN right we need to set the road up so both of these locks are off 22 lock the points again and uh, 15 to come out of the loop and give him the start to number 5 so he's off probably a minute delay on that one but it's showing right time <clears throat> now let's see what next the next one is the up stoke to up stoke so that's quite straightforward straight through I'll probably leave it after that one because we've done that move before oh that's oh sorry that's not on what Oko's coming off he just stands in the station let's we'll see how we go right he's he's left so we've got one coming the other way as well right we can send entry section from class 8 to apple This class nine is breaking for the junction. And Fifteen miles an hour over the points. So fifteen can go back. We can reset these again and put the starter back, and we can put all these points back at some stage. I'm just concentrating on this other one. This whips across quite quick so uh, again it's entering section we go, and we can put the distant back first followed by the ohm and the starter and send it out of section just wait for the tail lamp to pass the signal box nice that's that one We'll get these points back because we're not going to use them for quite a while. So uh, <coughs> get the unlock the points. Pull the cross over and relock the points again. Right, he's gone clear of the start, so we can put that one back. So at this moment, we're waiting out of section from Atwell for 8H37 and out of section from Dove Junction for 9M45. So we've got the next train that's up Stoke to up Stoke, so we get the, uh, the point set for that. So again, we'll lock these. Oh, that's me not doing it right 24 first then 29 then the main points 25 28 and relock i say the bell didn't ring because of me moving the levers but it's lit up out of section so I acknowledge that all the block is now normal If you've got time compression on, it will, uh, if there's nothing on the layout, 
at all or, or even trains going away from it will increase time and if this this is lit up the quick time advance if you've got quite a big gap between trains like this one look you've got 449 the next one 523 so if you don't want to be sitting at the computer doing nothing you could always do what they did in real life of course and put the old uh, kettle on and have some breakfast or you could just click on that and it will zoom forward so you'll be waiting about that is breaking at the uh, at Dub Junction at this moment so we you can see is uh, just about approaching it regarding some of these passages which come in later on it's a DMU service attached to Derby this was the first year apparently that the DMUs were introduced on this line and before that it would be a loco in the coaches Right, so that's out of section. Acknowledge that from the door. And we've got the class four. This is coming through at quite a speed. Accept that. Uh, anyway, what I'm saying is, if the because this box is close together, at Egerton, when you get a class two offered, if you wait until you get train into section, you, you won't have time to get the gates and clear the signals with that reducing the speed of the train due to is missing the distance signal with with the class twos or anything faster like even a class four uh, you could off the train on after a couple of minutes you know the time is due to pass you so two or three minutes before we can get the gates and clear the signals and then when we get train intersection it's got the distance and it's got a nice clear run through but that will come with experience um, Obviously, you could you could off the train on straight away and get the gates to clear the signals, but it would upset some of the uh, motorists. So they could be standing there quite a while. Obviously, it doesn't matter the simulation, but if you're a real crossing keeper, you will be aware of uh, high rate motorists. Right, entry section. So now we can off this train on minutes so class four get the gates and we lock the gates on the lever frame and we can clear the signal so we've got 12 and 6 and distance 10 just started to break so it's just hit the distance there so again you've not got a lot of time if the class eights nines they do take a lot longer so you get train intersection you've got another minute or two extra to be able to get the gates and everything now again you notice this distance signal is a caution you might see that clear or not depending what Egerton junction does this box has actually switched out quite a lot so you'll be working through to the next box but it's just cleared it now Well, the driver knows the distance off all the associated signals at Egerton Junction are now clear. Right, trains coming up to us in the box, so distance can go back. Again, I'll leave the signals off until it's clear of the points ahead of it, so I know it's uh, so I don't move any points on this. 12 can go back. Engine section. wait for them to clear six if all the gates and then cross and keep it and then close the gates to the railway this is a short section so it's not too long before you get out of section for that one uh, the next one is the one from the GN. Right, I can have a section now. Oh, 
scared of me off already. Look, I'm not sent out to section for it. So, how will I get a visit <laughs> this way? It's quite easy to do. That's why it's, I just show it as it is. If I make a mistake, I make a mistake. I don't like. We all make mistakes, but it's, it's how you get out of them what counts. And there's no harm done there. There's nothing being delayed. Right, let's uh, get this time compression. And that's gone to 412. So we should get one, one coming from the, from the GN line. So he just, he just waits there. Now, what we can do, if he stops at 41, 42, uh, he will get, um, I mean, they could actually keep him down there. But if we've got time, we can bring him down to 33 and 34. The only thing is, to do that, we've got to set these points up, which will conflict with the one on the damn stoke. But we should have time. And I'll, uh, I'll show you that as it's done. Now, it's quite away from it, or from the other boxes, so we're going to be waiting a little while here. Right, so put this on, I can accept that. You don't really need to check anything on the down from Etwell or Eggington, unless you've obviously got something standing in the station. But if you've sent out a section, it means you can always accept a train, unless you've got a conflicting shunting move. The other way, you've got to make sure you can't accept a train. <laughs> Done that again the flank protection again but if uh, i can't accept the train if the 24 is reversed because it's in the clearing point that's the clearing point by the way for the upper stoke it's the copyright symbol there and that's the one from the Alberton direction i'll just cover some of these hand signals um, Downside is one or two. Downside is one is obviously signal from DSK, so that's on the main line, reversing in there to get into number two siding or out of it. We use this crossover number 31, so we can clear the crossover. Train coming out is 39. Train going in is and signal. Uh, the thing is easy to forget you've got the ant signal off unless you notice there because that could apply for all the different ant signals as well so if you put with 31 back it won't look it won't let you because you're still showing the ant signal for the move so we draw the ant signal first then we can move the points 32 is very similar signal 40 to come out and the ant signal to go in there's no way you can and signal a train into the station wrong direction it's not signal for that move and it's not allowed so all, all shunting i've been told as well all shunting from these sidings uh, any shunting moves always went onto the onto the gn line never on and up to this crossover, up to the signal. You can't clear 12 anyway if the gates aren't closed. Uh, you'd probably be able to clear number one from across here up to there, but then it'd be it w there wouldn't be any need to move anything down there, you'd just probably reverse it behind number four. Right, this one's still trundling towards us, so it's still got quite a while. Should be sending an entry section soon. The D three O. This is one of these uh, uncoupling locos running round. I say, if you look through the timetable, you've got. Quite a few trains going in out the sidings. And then they say later on in the day the passenger trains start running. Right, engine section from Etwell. I don't notice that. It's already 
breaking for the distance. Right, if you remember, I said I could run that into the platform. Now, at the moment, if I try to clear 42 or 41, it, that would allow me to bring it into the station. And that's because we've got these points not set correctly. So, to do this, we can click, we can, if we've got 29 reversed, we can do that. But of course, we've got to can't clear 29 because it's flank protection again so it's unlock 27 put the cross the points across lock the points right now we can clear this signal when he's come when he's been brought under 10 or, or less speed <coughs> He can offer us. He can offer the trainer course for Megat Junction. We can accept it. We just don't want to delay it. Right, it's down to ten miles an hour. I'll give him, sorry, 42 is to go across the junction, it's 49, still the same arm of course, so the driver can uh, set into the station now. Again we can't send out a section until this is clear of the platform, sorry it's going to be there quite a while. The next one from the, from the GN of course is 531, so that's plenty of time. Before we get that one offered <clears throat> now once it's come to a stand of course then we can put these points back we can't move the points while the train's moving it's got to come to a, a dead stand dead stop Put the thumb back. Now it's come to a dead stop. And we've got this one off for the service. We can accept. Doesn't matter about those points. Now we can put the points back. So we only need to move 29. So that's all set up for this train now. So when this train's gone through 8P22, we can get this one across and out of the way. <coughs> Plenty of time before we get the one on the up. Why didn't he just run across one wonders in front of this train and out the way? There's probably other factors as well, such as trains on this line, which we which are off screen. And it might be uh, you might be taking water, not sure there's a water crane or tower at that end of the line. Right, I'm going to offer this one on a bit early, try and give him the distance, hopefully. So we'll offer this one on now. That's the class 8. Three minutes, but we'll get the gates. Lock the gates. And we can now clear 44, 35 section 13 then the distant there we've got the distant the uh, white stripe which uh, I've explained before means this signal is locked <laughs> at danger until a line clear has been obtained so all your section signals five this way, 6, 38 and 37 have all got this white band on the lever frame. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, we'll, we'll get this one across. I'll run this one across and then uh, I'll leave you to carry on. Which is 
this section. We've already cleared the signal, we've already offered this train on, so there's nothing to do. It's not a particularly fast train, 30 miles an hour, so we might have had time to uh, offer this train on afterwards, but just wanted to show you uh, it's, it's gone past that distance signal because it's put the starter back. Remember, we've still got this off, even though it's not showing. It's uh, can be a bit confusing. So it's already past that. We can pull that back anyway, so we don't forget it. I'm going to offer this one on to Burton. Uh, I know he's not due for another five minutes, but we can offer that on whenever we want, really. So I'll offer that on as a clear. Even though the route's not set, we've got a line clear ready for when we do need it. Right, so this one's coming across the crossing. We can put 44 back. We can unlock the gates. 14. He can then operate the gates. I can put 35 back, he's gone clear to there. Send train intersection to Marston. And also not forgetting to send outer section to Eggerton Goods. Right, we can, uh, he leaves at 4.30, so we've got four minutes, plenty of time, but we can get these points set. I'm going to operate 26. Move 25, block the points. This one's already set for flight protection, so I don't need that one. I'm 29. Put the starter back for that train, and he's ready to go. Um, let me clear the signals in good time. We can do that. So it's 34, and the starter 37. In reality, he'd probably just start and go off on his own, but uh, we don't do this on the heritage ones. They can, you can set trains to run early on the uh, modern Powerbox type simulations, which is quite handy. Perhaps it can be done on heritage. I'll uh, another one for John to uh, query that one. I think I don't think it would be used very often, but make it a little bit more realistic. So the next train we've got is this one on the Upstoke. Again, it's just a through train from Toxter to Chatterton. Straightforward move. Points set at the junction. Right, so we've got our intersection to Marston. And he should be setting off very shortly. Oh, I can see the driver is just emerging from the station. Mr. Oh, has filled his uh, brew can up. The railway would not run without tea. And it's still the same. Ah, whistles up, off he goes. So we're all to bed, and there's probably a fish train. Or beer. Oh, empty beer, should I say. A lot of beer traffic from Burton, with it being uh, lots of breweries at Burton, of course. Right, it's feeding the way across the points. Remember to send train into a section. Now we can put the uh, 
Safety on back, 34. And we can send it out of second to Epo. Make him jump and get out of the chair. He's been sat there quite. There he goes. Right. So we've got one up stoked, up stoked. So what we do at this time is reset all these points. So we need. 29, 28, back to normal, and uh, 25. Then we lock with the facing point lock, he's now clear. Need seven back. And there's just out of section to wait for now from, uh, from Dove Junction. If you want to know how, how close these boxes were adjacent, they'll be under the uh, local information. Scroll down. Fringe boxes, here we are. Look, tells you how far. Marston, one mile, 408 yards. Dove Junction, Hepwell, Heggington Goods. And shows your speed restrictions as well going through the through the area. Right, I'll just wait for our section and call that a day. I say, hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, and if you have, what they always say, thumbs up, give me a like. If you want to subscribe to the channel, I'm hoping to work through these videos on a fairly regular basis. So there's always new videos coming online. If you want any particular simulation covering, then please, uh, please let me know and I'll get that sorted out. breaking for the junction now so we'll just wait for our intersection that oops got my mouse in the wrong position and then i'll press pause and then we'll we'll stop it there so give you the duster to carry on i'll say again i hope you've enjoyed that and uh, if you have thumbs up please subscribe and uh, we'll see you again the next time bye for now <laughs>